We begin with a developing story in Buncombe County and a new campaign to shut down video gaming operators. The county's top law officers today kicked off Operation Blue Note. News 13's Kimberly King is live tonight from the Sheriff's Office. And Kim, what is the plan? Larry, uh, the sheriff and the district attorney are putting gaming operators on notice with 20 already identified. They are working to shut them down. This is video of a raid one year ago. March 18th, 2014, sheriff's deputies roll out illegal video gaming machines from a sitco on Weaverville Highway. If it's gambling, it's illegal. Today, news that operators are back. District Attorney Todd Williams on the left, vowing with the sheriff on the far right to shut them down. 20 operators have already been identified. The initiative, called Operation Blue Note, is named after a 70s band and a song called Bad Luck. Lost your money lost your home, lost your woman, everything you own. Assistant DA Alex Bass says all machines are unlicensed, putting players at a disadvantage. There's no regulation on any of these machines that you see in a store out there. Not the first bit of it. News 13 found patrons playing machines in this Southside Shell station near Sweeten Creek Road. We spoke by phone with the owner, who had no comment on the machines. Cases, the DA says, often end up in the Supreme Court, as operators argue some machines are legal and that winning depends more on skill than luck, which is legal under North Carolina statute. The sheriff describing what he says constitutes an illegal gaming machine. If they're paying out and they're operating something where they're taking in, a, a sum of money to be able to play, and then they are paying out in cash at the end. Basically, you're either going to be violating the lottery statutes or you're going to be violating the criminal statutes around video games. All right, so Operation Blue Note will first send notices to video game violators in the next two weeks. The DA will then strategize how to prosecute what can be challenging cases. Then search warrants will go out, machines will be seized, and charges from misdemeanors to felonies will be filed. Now, the sheriff also wants to hear from the public if you know of any illegal gaming machines, if you've been a victim of what you believe is a rigged machine, they want to hear from you. The phone number is 250-4469. Reporting live downtown at the Sheriff's Office, Kimberly King, News 13.